week we were hosting our last year of study beneficiaries from various institutions. And the program we call it the Work Readiness Program. It is meant for learners that are about to enter into the labor market. With the recent research that we've carried out under SATRI, we learned that uh, most of our beneficiaries, they lack um, skills that will help them to acquire jobs. And most of them, after graduating, they come back to the office asking us to help them acquire jobs. And when we looked at their CVs, we actually realized that their CVs, they lack something. So we decided to look for a company that can actually help them with putting together a CV, cover letters, and prep them about interviews and give them feedback on their CVs, interview skills, and everything that they have learned throughout the week. We also touched on entrepreneurship because we understand that the economy of South Africa needs entrepreneurs to actually help it, to boost it and all that. So we actually invited a few entrepreneurs to come over and we also had people from NYDA and IDC to come and talk to them about funding. So they had a chance to interact with, inter with entrepreneurs and funders. Make sure that you have a solid business plan with a solid market, a solid revenue line. You have a clean record and you are committed to what you're going to do. You must have enthusiasm and drive to make sure that the people who are giving you money or equity can trust that you will be able to run the business successfully. And the, when funders don't look for short-term things, they want a long-term business that will be able to generate enough revenue over a long term. So you must make sure that you are also committed to your business for the long term. Your passion is what you know drives you through. You know, um, I, I was mentioning now during my presentation that you know it's a calling, you know, and it's not for everyone. So if you know that you've answered that calling, um, even when the odds are against you your passion will definitely see you through. So it, 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 it must come from within. Self-belief and confidence. Because you stand in a room of so many people, but if you can't go and sell yourself as a brand, then you literally fade, you know, in, as part of the background. So for me, it's making sure that you know who you are. And that means, do you know your capabilities, your skills? What value are you bringing to the table? If I'm saying I'm in fashion, I'm going to say, look, I'm bringing this creative flair that I haven't seen anywhere else, and therefore be able to say, what does that mean? It means that a woman's going to look confident, feel good, and therefore be the best version of the person that she wants to be. So you need to be able to see what vision you have and walk that vision. You need to be that vision and make sure that people around you understand it. So you need to put yourself out there, really. You need to really be able to engage, create relationships, because that takes you, that, that takes you quite a long way. If you can build relationships, you never know what doors those people could unlock for you. I've created a network um, with the people that I've met up with. We've become, I can see good friends, we get along. And um, with this network that we have, uh, that I can say I've found and that we put it, we're planning on pushing together. We want to establish our own business. So for now, the plan is, let's try and think of ideas. Okay, firstly, we're gonna just we're just going to take one another's details so we can stay in, in touch. And in doing that, as the time goes by, we are going to come up with ideas, how we can implement them, how we can get funding. The challenges of being an entrepreneur, I think, uh, are almost cliched, you know. Uh, but again, entrepreneurs know that they have to break down doors. Uh, they are not always understood. Uh, they are visionaries, so a lot of the times you are thinking ahead of people and your peers in order for them to eventually buy into the idea. So a lot of people talk about funding, but for me, you know, funding finds you when you've got the right project, when you've structured it properly, and uh, uh, you know, it has all the bells and whistles that is needed. Uh, a lot of people talk about opportunities, you know, uh, opportunities again, you need to have, you know, superior knowledge on the subject matter, on, on the business itself in order for uh, potential clients to trust you uh, with that business. So those are some of the challenges, but you know, when you're an entrepreneur, those challenges become what really feeds your hunger to say, how do you overcome such and convince people on a daily basis to trust in what you are selling at that point in time? We actually gave all our beneficiaries a chance to actually visit various companies. If you're a finance student, we took you to a Sanlam where you would meet up with accountants and auditors and tax people from there and you can actually interact and see how it will be like for you when now you, when you'll be employed. 
some of the mining students. We took them to a mine where they spent a few, few hours in underground and others were on the surface through the pro um, production side and they also went to the process control side and they were taught about all the forces that goes down at the mine throughout the day and how production, how they count their production and how they count their profits. So we actually spent like the whole day at the mine. The most important thing that I'm taking out of this whole thing is something that I got from the speakers, right? And it says I must be intentional in, in my career. So every decision that I take in relation to my career, it must be out of an intention. It must be proactive as well in doing, in doing what I do. And another thing is that it stimulated my business ideas that I've actually kept aside and said that I need to get a job and finish my degree and whatnot. But right now, I leave this program being filled to go start up my company immediately and go start working on the research and doing everything that needs to be done now. The speech that we had from our own principal motivated me the, the most. He told us, you should know what you actually different from other people that study the same thing that you're actually studying for. Yes, you must differentiate yourself from other people. How special are you from other people studying the same thing that you're actually studying for? After I graduated, we were part of the JB Marx core team and um, this was part of our ultimate plan and it's amazing to see that it has been realized and it also brings back memories of understanding what I needed when I was in their position and to see that we are making that impact and we are continuing to make that impact 10 years on. It's been 10 years uh, since we started this whole thing and it's amazing to see and I'm happy and I'm proud of them that they have graduated and um, I'm happy to see how far they're going to go in life and um, yeah, I really wish them the best. Jim Marks took me, more, took me from a position where I was really on the ground, not necessarily knowing what to do after this. That's where it got me. But speaking specifically to this program and not necessarily the bursary itself, I'm really happy that they created this because a lot of us don't necessarily know what happens after graduating. You know, you think, you, you, you're very pompous. You think after graduating you have it all, you know everything and it's going to be easy for you. But then they presented us with the reality of exactly what happens in the field. So I think this is an important vehicle that takes us from varsity to, 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 to the working field. And I'm very, very grateful. Thank you very much to JB Marx and um, a, not just JB Marx as well, but the company that did all of this as well. I'm crazy, I'm crazy.